Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah A question was asked, assalamu alaikum, may Allah bless you and may Allah bless you as well, I mean I wanted to know if it's permissible for a Muslim woman to wear trousers to work out of fear of being sacked, meaning to get fired. And should a woman obey her husband if the husband tells his wife to wear trousers instead of full hijab so one is more likely to get a job? So first and foremost, the Prophet والسلام, said what mean what mean which means uh La Ta'a fi makhluq fi ma'siyatillah there is no obedience to the creation in disobedience to the creator which means in this situation that with your husband which normally the muslim woman is to obey her husband in righteousness as the subjects under a muslim leader are to obey the ruler unless they call you to disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, even the children obeying their parents. If their parents tell them to disobey Allah, then in that commandment of disobedience, it is not permissible for them to follow them in that. And we know the reality that it is very difficult for many of us to say no and to abstain. For a child to say, no, I'm not going to do my parents are forcing me to get a boyfriend and I don't want to. I want to practice Islam and I want to be righteous, but they say it's normal behavior and I must do it. You cannot do it. It's Muharram. And there is no obedience to the, crea uh, to the creation at the expense of obedience to the Creator. And so, fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you can, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Taqallah misadatu, fear Allah. <clears throat> as much as possible and so this is what it, it is the duty upon the Muslim woman who is in this situation so for example uh, she should do her best on her uh, in her fulfilling her role in employment if she already has a job and she's been working there to make them understand that I am a Muslim and there are certain dress codes I have to observe and I hope that that is not problematic but I cannot wear trousers for example uh, and if that is a problem with them, then gradually, perhaps, depending on your needs, that you should make every effort to replace that form of employment and find something else. Because we know everyone's situation is different. Some people have a situation, uh, a sister, maybe a single mother with children, and she has this employment and she needs it. And it's not very easy to make the rent at the end of the month and what have you, especially if she just ups and quits her job. So for her, her situation, and the law subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, that it might be more acceptable to be gradual, that she would strive her utmost to replace that form of employment without just getting terminated immediately, and the law subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. The second issue with regards to the woman obeying her husband, as we mentioned, that that is not hijab wearing the trousers, and so she... Uh, if the husband wishes for her to work and she agrees she wants to work because the asl in Islam is the woman does not have to work this is the the you know uh, Islamic custom that it is com that uh, the that the as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the men are the maintainers and supporters and supporters of the women so this is a job of the men. That's just, that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command. Now, yes, people have exceptional circumstances. However, the asl is, is that this is the role of the man. And with that being the case, he cannot force her to leave the home and go and, wear, and compromise her hijab and compromise her, her, uh, her duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order just to make more money or whatever the case may be. So in this situation, it would be best for the woman to explain to her husband, tell him to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible in a kind and gentle way and try to work those issues out so that he will understand 
and that he will supplicate more to Allah and ask that Allah provides him with more risk and other ways to make money that is halal, that will allow for his wife to stay at home and not be exposed, uh, exposing herself in trousers and possibly exposing herself by mixing with men. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.